And now, your Fox 24 local weather authority forecast. Once again, it's a very muggy start based on wide, a live look at the tall city overcast skies. These skies a little bit thinner in terms of our cloud coverage compared to the past few mornings. Layered clouds, though, indicate a lot of instability in the atmosphere, meaning unsettled weather. That's something that we did see yesterday in Midland and Odessa and for much of the basin. And this morning, we're starting to see some rain showers south of Midland and Odessa near Dryden, Sanderson, Sheffield, Pecos, Fork Stockton moving on through. Rain showers moved on through Midland and Odessa yesterday evening, bringing in strong wind gusts, locally heavy downpours. But today, the rain threat will be mostly south of the Midland and Odessa area, the heavier rainfall threat, that is. A flood watch in effect till 7 a.m. local time. This includes Pegasus, Fork Stockton, Brewster County especially. Make sure you guys turn around, don't drown, and drive slowly in some of those puddles. Rainfall is already starting to increase in terms of the rainfall rate in the southern part of our viewing area. We do notice rain showers pivoting from west to east in the southern basin, south to north in the eastern part of our viewing area, and then pivoting back in the northwest part of our viewing area. This cyclonic low pressure system really looks like kind of like a leaf. And there's a meteorology term that we like to call it a baroclinic leaf because it looks like a leaf. And that baroclinic part, meaning there's a temperature difference between one part of that low pressure system and to the other. Again, behind me in places like Dallas, Fort Worth, temperatures much warmer compared to Midland and Odessa. 76 degrees right now, 69 degrees right now in the tall city. Sitting at 65 degrees though in Alpine, cooler colors in terms of our temperature map cooler weather in places like the northwest part of our viewing area. That's because they're on the back side of that low pressure system. So whenever there's a temperature change over even a pretty tight distance combining with moisture, that's how we get instability, unsettled weather and storm action. We're seeing that especially this morning and we're going to be seeing that more later today. Temperatures struggling to get out of the 60s and 70s in places like Marfa, Alpine, Dryden, places like Midland and Odessa. Maybe getting fairly close to the 80 degree mark. Yesterday got to 78 degrees. Today I'm predicting, predicting right around 79 degrees with very muggy conditions and a chance of storms. Pretty likely, especially later in the day today. So make sure you guys are weather aware. We will let you know if there are any alerts. No alerts right now in terms of any warnings, but that's something that we could be seeing within the next few hours. Later this morning, early this afternoon, rain really moving on through pivoting from the eastern part of our viewing area and southern eastern part of our viewing area all the way into the trains. Pegasus, isolated storms near Midland and Odessa. Storms are lingering. Those reds, spotty reds, indicate strong wind gusts and flooding possible. Overnight lows in the 60s and lower 70s. Very muggy, very rainy at times with those winds still coming in from the east-northeast, bringing in not only below normal temperatures, but also, yeah, very muggy conditions with rain showers. Showers possible this morning. Also tomorrow morning, low temperatures in the low to mid 60s for some mid to upper 60s in the Midland and Odessa area. Rain showers tomorrow, 79 today, 78 degrees tomorrow. A little bit warmer and drier though on Friday. And for a Labor Day weekend, a little bit warmer, but still lingering rain chances for Labor Day weekend.